Fridays are awesome. I'm Carl Azus. Welcome to the week's last edition of CNN Student News. The Winter Olympics are over for another four years, but the Paralympics start today in Sochi, Russia. They'll run for the next nine days. Just like the February games we saw, this is an international competition. It's for physically disabled athletes. It'll include five sports, from skiing and biathlon to hockey and curling, and it'll feature almost 700 athletes from 47 countries. All of them are exceptional. They're Olympians. And one from the U.S. will have competed in both the summer and winter games. Overcoming obstacles is nothing new for Tatiana McFadden. You see, she was born with spina bifida. That's a birth defect that prevents the spinal cord from properly closing while a baby is still in the womb. As an unwanted, disabled child in St. Petersburg, Russia, Tatiana was immediately sent to an orphanage after her surgery. I didn't have a wheelchair, so my legs were atrophied behind my back, and I walked around my hands all the time. Six years later, a chance visit by an American to the orphanage changed her life. I immediately knew that she was my mom. Adoption gave Tatiana an instant family. Her mom pushed Tatiana to participate in sports. Getting involved with sports um, you know, saved my life. So I wrote down my goals and I said I really want to be a Paralympic athlete, I want to be a medalist someday. The 15-year-old became the youngest member of the USA track and field team at the Athens Paralympic Games. McFadden won four more medals in Beijing. And in London, she finally won gold. In 2013, McFadden won the Grand Slam title for marathon wheelchair racing and then traded her wheelchair for a Sitski. Now, McFadden's back in Russia, where she's competing in the Sochi Paralympic Cross Country Nordic Skiing Event. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.